Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Born to Dominican parents, Laith Ashley de la Cruz has been making headlines thanks to being one of the few openly transgender male models in the fashion industry. Laith opened up about bullying, dealing with his family's religious background and the challenges of transitioning during our landmark interview. And he also tells us about his work with Flux, a new division of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation dedicated to raising awareness and providing support to trans and gender non-conforming people. And you can see why Laith is developing into more than just a model by checking out his story right here on Latin Nation. My name is Leith Ashley de la Cruz, and I'm, I guess I started off as a model, but I consider myself more so of an entertainer. Ooh, baby, I'm feeling our situation. It's getting stronger how we want it, but I gotta take my time. My family is from the Dominican Republic, both parents. They came here, they came to the United States in their teenage years, and I was born and raised in New York. So I was assigned female at birth, and it's not that you want to, it's that you are. <laughs> so I knew that there was something different about me. As soon as I can make those, like those thoughts were able to come to my head, um, I knew that something was different. I didn't know what transgender was per se because you don't know that language as a child, but I knew that I felt like a boy. As with everything else in my life, I had, I'm lucky to have had a very supportive family. So I, I kind of, even if they didn't agree with it, I know that I kind of put my foot down and it's just like, this is who I am and you, you're gonna accept it. I think it's very necessary now to use the term trans. Obviously, I would love to just be called a model because that's what I, that's what I started doing, that's what, that's what I am. Um, however, because we're in the political climate and because we're starting to be recognized in the media as something other than that outcast or that something strange, it's, we're, nor we're becoming more normalized, if, that, if you will. Um, so I think the term trans model is necessary for now. We're still climbing for equality and more so equity in general. So there's this illusion of diversity or illusion of inclusion in the industry. And it's a huge issue because usually they put all marginalized groups, it's like you put them all in a hat and you shake it up and you pick one. So which one's it gonna be today? Are we gonna have the Asian girl? Are we gonna have the black guy or a trans person? Like what, which one is it? And then it's back to the status quo. And I think that's, the, that's a big issue. The plight of trans women, for example, is a lot different and a lot more difficult, I find, than it is for trans men. Obviously, trans people in general um, in society have a tough time um, just being, just being. I saw an interview with Laverne Cox, for example, and she mentioned um, if we, if trans people aren't allowed to use the bathroom, we can't go to school, we can't work. This is a simple, basic human, you know, thing and you're taking it away. So you're basically removing a whole group of people from society. So I joined Flux because one, I am trans myself, I'm Latino, and I'm very proud of those things. And Flux is just ra raising awareness, pushing forth events that are that present trans people and gender non-conforming people in a positive light. And for those who, who want to learn more about the organization, that is, it's a division of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation, they should definitely visit fluxidentity.org. I know that the title advocate is placed on me a lot and I think I wouldn't say that I'm an advocate where I'm like starting rallies and I'm you know out there petitioning obviously I would love to help in that in that sense I think I, I'm I'm an entertainer because I have this platform I'm able I'm able to be heard and I think that it's unfair for activists who make this their job and their li this is their living to push that, that initiative, they need to be listened to as well. I think I'm very honored to have this platform where I can speak on behalf of those without voices or those who are trying to gain a voice and I'm totally for it, you know? <laughs>